All right, so I have this problem area as a step function. It says find the area bounded by sine x and cosine x on the interval 0 to 5 pi halves. So I started to look at this, and I'm trying to figure out where do they intersect. What I did first is I used the unit circle, and I realized that they intersect at pi fourths, and they also intersect at 9 pi fourths, and we can see that by 9 pi fourths is less than 5 pi halves, right? Because this would be 10 pi fourths, just to give us an idea here. So I, then I decided to go and find these things, so I started to give, my, give this a look, and this is what I found. This is what I found. So this is what I know for sure. That this point right here is one of my points, and this is the other one. This is the pi force, and this is the 9 pi force. So I was feeling pretty okay about it, and then I started to get a little bit nervous because I realized that something changes here, and it's really noteworthy. Because if you look right here, if you look right here, we can see that here, sine, everywhere from here to here, sine is over cosine. So I started to set up this interval, and I was like, you know what? So here, I've set up my first interval, and I say, you know what? I want the definite integral from pi force, and this value right here happens to be 5 pi force. Right, so it's 5 pi force. So I also figured that out using the unit circle, so 5 pi force. What I notice here is that sine is on top, so I had sine x minus cosine x dx. And that gives me all, that's going to help me get all this area here. And this is what I'm really trying to show you guys. I'm trying to get to this. That's all this area inside here. So I'm like, okay, I got to get this. So that's all this area here, right? That's everything under sine but over cosine. But as I moved across to the next place, I realized, crap, I'm in trouble here. Because if you take a quick look, you can see clearly that as we move on to the next place, well, look, cosine, the cosine curve is over the sine curve from here to here. And the sine curve, of course, is underneath by extension, right? So I'm like, okay, so we have two different areas that we have to capture. So the second area that we want to capture is this one. And it's the definite integral from pi, no, it's not from pi force, is it? It has to be from here. So it's 5 pi force to 9 pi force. Remember, we're good. It's supposed to go to 10 pi halves, but that's out here somewhere, and it's not enclosed. So now we have to come up with this area here, and I just want to make sure that we're looking at the same thing. So now I'm looking for this area in here, and this is becoming really, really significant, I think, right? Because if you look at this carefully, if you try to take this as an integral, the definite integral of this, this top part, this top part here, is going to be exactly the opposite of this one, it's going to, so it's going to go to zero, and this top part is going to be the opposite of this, so it's going to go to zero. And our question asks for area. This is significant. There's a huge difference. So if you see an area question, remember we want the absolute value. So I'm like, okay, I can do this. So here I'm just going to keep writing, and I'm going to look for, now we see that, that cosine is at the top, so it's going to be cosine x minus sine x dx. And this is what we're looking, this is actually what we're looking for. But again, have to be careful because this to this, again, this is going to go to zero. So we have to take, I want you to see this because this gets really, really nuts. This is the absolute value, right? The absolute value here and the absolute value of this stuff. Because if you don't, I, I'm praying to God that you get what I'm talking about here. If you don't, then this area down here, this negative area here, will negate this positive area up here, and and the same here. This positive area at positive quote unquote area at the top will negate this negative area. So if you added all these together and left and didn't take the absolute values of them, I hope you can see that what you'd get is this value plus its opposite is zero. This value plus its opposite is zero, and zero plus zero is zero. But that's not truly the area, is it? So here's how I set this thing up. Now, what I did after that was I figured out where is sine on top. And it was from here to here. So what I did was this. And I'd like to show you the picture of how I did this. Um, 
what I did was this. What I did was this. Was I went to here. I'm not sure you can, how well you can see this, but here, here it is right here. All right? So here it is here. And this, look, this is two different equations. I set this up. Look, you can see I did this. I just went in here. I set this up exactly like this um, as a step function. And I said, well, I want this to be a step function. I want it to be sine of x minus cosine x from this to this, right? And then cosine x minus sine x from here to here. It brought all the areas up, didn't it? So I think that worked really good. And it gave, it gave me this. So then what I did was I just went to my calculator. Let me see if I can do this. I went to the menu, I went to analyze graph, I went to integral, and then look, I had this here, because I had this in, as one function, and it comes out to be 5.66, which is, it's just absolutely awesome, because if we had done this the other way, we would have gotten half of 5.66 would have been the negative part, and the other half would have been the positive part, and it would have added together to give us zero. So, all right, now I, hopefully what you're wondering is, how do you put in a step function? So let's do this really quick. It's really, really easy, I think. Put in a step function. So here we are on your calculator. Let me see if I can make the screen bigger for you. All I did was I went right here, press this button, and I chose this value right here. So hopefully you have your calculator with you. And just click that, and there it is, and I just type it in. Right? I say, well, this is going to be, I'm not going to do the whole thing because you have better things to do with your life, but this is sine of x. And then I set up that integral where I wanted that, and I think I wanted it from, what did I say, from pi force, so from pi force, and there's lots of ways to do that. One way to do it is this, pi, divided by 4, and then here control is less than or equal to x, and x is less than or equal to 5 times, and I just do that to make sure I don't screw that up, Pi dun, da, 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 uh, fourth, and I hit enter. And why is oh syntax error? Right, and then enter. Why is it giving me syntax? Cosine x. So this is not that picture, but I feel like I didn't want to waste my waste your time doing this. You know what? Let me go back and do this right, dude. If you're still with me, I'm just amazed. I'm shocked that you're this good. And I'll just set this up, and I'd say five times pi force is less than or equal to x, and this just gives me the second part, right? And then this, and then remember we said 9 pi, so it's, I always do the multiplication sign. 9 pi force, and enter. And then there's the graph of what we actually were looking for. I don't know where I screwed that up. I screwed it up somewhere. Anyway, I guess what I would like to tell you is stick, <laughs> stick with this graph. It's beautiful. This one right here. So, all right. I hope this is helpful.